Okay, hello once again, World of YouTube. Uh, my name is Pat. Um, today I just want to go ahead and give off a little rant I have about uh, sexism, especially modern sexism. And uh, if you're going into this thinking that I'm going to be saying one thing or the other, please listen all the way through before you pass judgment. Because especially, especially if like you're coming from a femi uh, feminist perspective of things, because it's really not. I'm not going where you're thinking that I'm probably going to be going. And uh, just hear me out before you pass judgment. That's all I have to say. Anyways, um. Yeah, it seems to me that these days that, like, uh, sexism is really taking a shift, and people, like, say it's a lot about the pendulum swinging to the other side, but, like, like towards, like, anti-male sentiments, and I think that there's this big sentiment that, like, me uh, especially, like, heterosexual male sexuality is being looked at as something evil and bad, and something to be looked down on, despised, and, um, I think a lot of it's rooting out of media. And if you look at a lot of these commercials out there and these television shows out there, that there are a lot of uh, commercials in which guys are being depicted as useless, and the guys in television shows are being useless. Like, uh, you know, ever since like shows like Home Improvement, where or, uh, Tim Allen is like this complete doofus idiot that has no business having this beautiful, wonderful wife that holds the relationship together. But it's not just that; it's Kings of Queens. It's uh, it's uh, Raymond knows uh, everyone loves Raymond. It's it's every single sitcom out there. They all follow the same formula of a goddess woman that this guy has no business of being with, and uh, this like useless useless guy. And um, it's in commercials too. Like there's this, there's a Tostitos commercial where these guys are sitting around a window eating like uh, Tostitos chips, and he's like uh, looking down on the ground. And then there's a construction worker, and they're saying, "Oh, look at that! That would never fly in the business world. One guy doing all the work and everyone watching." And then this woman's like, oh, we're done. And they're like, good job, team. And, you know, picking fun at the guys. And there's another one where it's like a stowage or whatever, where this woman, she's packing up a, this stowage container. And she's packing it full of stuff. Like, and they're going on like, oh, this stowage container will come to your door and we'll uh, let you pack it up and we'll come in and deliver it. And the last thing she puts in is a couch with her husband sleeping on it. And uh, another great one is something to do where this woman's like just, I think it was an internet commercial where this woman's like, feeding the kids and giving them breakfast and like uh, putting everything together, making coffee and like uh, putting together the, the day's plans and like this woman and this guy comes down and he's like all sloppy and not shaved and all that like, oh well I'm gonna go ahead and get internet access today or whatever and the woman's like, nope, I already got it done and you know, just depicting like the husband as a bum and this is the kind of thing that I see every single day in media and if you don't see it, you're either blind or prejudiced and I'm really hoping it's blind but um, the, the, the thing that I'm getting with this and like, a lot of, I'm sure feminists, if you're still listening, are getting upset about uh, me for this. But the thing that really bothers me about this is that I don't think it's really hurting men so much as it is hurting women. And if you look back in history where, uh, where women weren't instantly accredited for having a vagina and being depicted as superior to men in all media, that there were actual female stars that, like, stood out. There was, like, uh, you know... There was uh, Lucy Ball, there was uh, Liv, oh, what's her name, um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm pulling a blank here, I oh, don't know, Liz Taylor, there was, but there, there was so many more female stars back in the day that were just as big as the male stars, just as big as John Wayne, you know, and, uh, but these days, it's like there are no female actresses that really stand out, and you have a few that are kind of tweedling like somewhere in there and like there are some good female actresses but the fact of the matter is that there's there's no strong female roles and the reason why is because they're just becoming this generic gray bland and that because they've decided you know that Hollywood and all media has decided that women have a certain view and way that they're being depicted that's always positive and always like this one direction you can't say one negative thing about them that they don't have any dimension or depth and because they don't have any dim dimension or depth that the actresses have no uh, lifespan as actresses there's no reason to keep like an actress going if you can just hire a new pretty face that can replace her identically you know but because there's no character and I think it's really sad and the reality of the matter is that it's hurting women more than anything else and to me this is like this this to me is like twice as worse as some of the crap that they pulled like back in the 50s I mean granted now these days like a woman can go ahead and make it as a writer or as as a director you know like Diablo Cody or uh oh what's Coppola's daughter who made Lost in Translation I forget that movie but point being though is that like as far as actresses go that they're just so interchangeable and 
unimportant and uninteresting, and that's the problem, you know? It's really a case of take one step forward, two steps back, but, like, I'm mad as a male that I'm being depicted as this horrible, evil person because I happen to be attracted to women, you know, you know women and all that stuff, and, like, it's even worse in TV that all, like, gay guys are just way more intelligent than a straight guy, and that... Like, I think it reflects in real life that if you have a, a gay guy saying an opinion and a straight guy saying an opinion, the girls will always listen to the gay guy, and I think that's absolutely true. But, I mean, I don't think that people are realizing that they're the ones who are really getting cut off at their knees, though. That to fight every single negative image of a woman on TV uh, is really doing the damage. And another thing that I've noticed, and like this is this is like kind of ridiculous to me, is... Um, violence in women. Oh, violence in women is a really interesting thing. Um, one of my fa favorite movies of all time, Magnolia. And uh, I don't really care for him as a person, but he was really he was really good in the movie. But uh, there's a scene where Tom Cruise in the theater version of uh, Magnolia slaps a girl. And the DVD comes out and they pretend like the scene never happened because they can't have male and female violence. And that's just ridiculous. Yet at the same time, right, um, like it's completely acceptable and not not so much even on a uh, sexist level but on a level of realism that a 90 pound like woman can knock a hundred or even 200 pound guy on his ass by punching him in the face and this is like always depicted in Hollywood and it's just it has nothing to do with reality and it takes you out of the picture completely and uh, you know just to reflect uh, that another movie Jerry Maguire there you go another Tom Cruise movie where a girl like, little dainty, nothing, anorexic bitch, like, punches him in the face. I'm sorry, I'm using bitch, like, towards that type of woman, not necessarily women. But, uh, <laughs> knocks him on his ass, and it's just, it's so fictionalized in La La Land, and it's up their own ass. And it's this kind of thought process and directing that has been ruining, like, the female roles, and that, I don't know. By now, like, I'm probably not going to win any fans over this, I, I'm sure, and people are just going to, you know, think I'm a bigot or say I'm a bigot for saying this, but it's just, it's, it's a double standard, and it's not helping, like, it's not, it's not hurting guys, we still have great actors all the time, you know, it's really help, uh, hurting women, and this is something that I think a lot of women should be upset about. Anyways, I'm kind of just talking around in circles, and that's about all I had to say. Um, please, please leave comments. I, I will look forward to replying to them. Um, anyways, have a good day, and please watch one of my videos in the future.